Hello, happy Friday again, Friday. So today, first of all, I hope you're doing well. Um, redoing the video that we just did. So today's video is a take off of my stories from yesterday where I did a poll and asked people, whoopsie, one moment, um, asked people what, if they have ever frozen um, guacamole. I need a new studio production manager because I keep waiting until these start. Okay. All right. So, um, so yesterday in my stories, we had a, a poll of have you ever frozen guacamole? I don't know if you can see that because of the reflection. There we go. Um, and so we had 87% people said yes and 13% no. So I'm like, well, if that's the case in stories, then maybe we better go ahead and go on our page with that information. So here I am. Um, so about, I don't know, I don't even know how long ago it was. Sometime during deer hunting season, I made this big bowl of guacamole. And maybe it was five or seven avocados, I don't know. It's too much for me to eat at one time. So I froze them in these little baggies and made just like, you know, like, okay, well, if I take that out of the freezer, I can probably eat that at one time. So I have all these little baggies of, uh-oh, Oh my goodness. Okay, so phone dropped out of the tripod. I think you guys are still here with me. It looks like you are. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I need to get I need to get a new production manager. Okay, are you so, are y'all still there? <laughs> this is like Monday quality. What are we doing here? Are we just tired from the week? Uh, what's going on? All right. Anyway, so we're doing a demonstration here, and this is just kind of what some frozen guacamole actually looks like so you can actually freeze it and it will keep and so what I've done today and what I did yesterday actually is I pulled out one of the kind of smaller packages that I had made um, and I cut off a little portion um hey Janice and Ricky and Kenneth um so I put, cut off a little portion that was enough for my salad so in an effort to make sure that I'm still having healthy fats I'm glad that I took that planning time and I'm suggesting to you, you can do this just like you can jams and jellies and beans and all the other things. You can do the same thing with guacamole. Maybe not necessarily the first top of mind, which again, as I mentioned in my, from my stories yesterday, 87% of people had not done that. So don't waste food. Don't let that stuff go to waste, um, but put it into like little packages that you could theoretically eat like before it goes bad. I mean, you see it's still green. It's still the exact same color it was when I put it in there. It stays nice and fresh. And I just sawed off a little piece and I'll put this back in the freezer. And when I want some more guacamole, I can pull it out. So super quick, super simple tip to um, keep yourself, I don't know, stocked with good quality food. If you buy stuff in bulk right now, package it up into individual portions, particularly your vegetables. You know, if you're freezing your own vegetables, they're going to taste a little bit better than if you buy frozen vegetables. But, you know, get what you can get and make the best of it. So what is it? You, know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So <laughs> let's actually put that into practice now and stay healthy. So uh, on that note, I want to wish you an amazing rest of your Friday or whatever day it is, depending on when you're catching this. I want to wish you optimal health and bountiful wellness. Have an amazing weekend as well. Bye for now.